seems that Fanon doesn't really have, he has an idea of violence, but he doesn't have a strong definition, which leads to some interesting consequences because, for example, if we take Fanon's ideas of sort of violence coming from the colonists and must be used by the, by the colonizers and must be used by the colonized sort of bring freedom, I'm going to try to measure with certain definitions like Weber's definition, which is sort of that violence is excessive force of force, we end up getting some very bizarre consequences. For example, you could reasonably argue that Gandhi's uh, salt, yeah, sorry. Definition? Yeah, sort of, because you can argue, for example, it's Gandhi's salt tax, salt on March. Um, essentially locked down large portions of India and caused severe like disruption in Britain, but because that was a course of force much greater than um, required to sort of get his point across, it is actually a violent act against Britain individual, and 